welcome back to my channel how are you my name is Achola if you are new welcome to my channel here on Achola's closet we talk personal style and just how to look and feel your best at any budget and if that sounds like something you're interested in don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video Today on Achala's Closet, we are doing a part two of my luxury haul. Now, if you haven't watched the first one, I will post the link right up here and also in the, descri in the description box so you can watch it right after this. But um, with that being said, let's just dive right into the video. So remember, we are doing this alphabetically and so today, we are doing Jacquemus all the way to Y project. And the first item I have for Jacquemus is a beautiful wool and cashmere skirt over here. Now this one I think is a couple of season old now, but I just love this skirt. The color is beautiful. Got high, like super high slit. <laughs> And just like the other blue one that I styled in the last video, this one here I think is super versatile as well. So you can wear it as a skirt like this, or you can wear it as a strapless dress with like a super thigh high slit. If you're doing it more for a daytime, I'll probably do like a strapless dress and just layer it like a leather pants under. I think it will be super beautiful. For a night out, you can just do a nice Thaha boots because the slit literally comes to like here, which is super sexy. You can turn it on the side or you can just turn it slightly onto the front, which is even better, but I just love this one. And I think I bought it also at the end of the season for $79, I think so. But yeah, love this skirt. And up next is my white leg pleated Jacquemus pants here. Now this one again, I just love it because of the white leg, the little pleats. Again, you can never go wrong with white leg pants. I feel like it just it flatters most body shapes and it just, for me, I find that it balances me out. Because sometimes I like to look balanced. Um, so definitely, I love more of the super white leg pants. This one here, I think when I bought it, it was like $200. But I just love it so much. I was like, I'm gonna have it. Comes in white as well. And if I find any available ones, I'll just add them in the link below for you as well. Up next, I have my white Jacquemus top right here. Comes with gold button details right there. Now this again, it's a halter top with a button up, you know. Now this one, when you have it on, it's a little bit of a off the shoulder detail and then you just tie the halter top right here. Honestly though, you don't have room for any padded bras with this top. I mean, this was a size 34 and baby fits tight. Like you can't do any bras with this unless one of those like cute little bralettes. But you know, sometimes I like to leave my bras at home too. So it, it's been working out perfectly. Last but not least for Jacquemus, I have my gorgeous light blue dress here. Now this one here, I just love it so much as well. I actually wore it last summer to a friend's wedding, <laughs> but I just love this dress. I still have to take it to a dry cleaner because you can't really hand wash or machine wash. It has to be dry cleaned, but I don't mind that. I love to dry clean most of my things anyway, um, especially if it says dry clean, I normally take it to dry cleaner because it just makes sense. 
Because if you're going to spend that much money on a thing, you want to take good care of it and you also want it to last longer. Right? Up next, I have a Canadian brand by the name of La Cavalier, I think is how you would say it, or La Cavalier, I'm not sure. But I just loved her prints. Um, I think she has one of the most interesting pretty prints that I've seen in a while and so this one here when I saw it I just I had to buy it and it was on sale for like $19.99 a regular price was like $60 maybe so I just had to buy it a stretchy high neck top with short sleeve you know I just bought it because of the print and the color and then last but not least for La Cavalier I have this beautiful striped shirt right here it's got side slit that's almost to like here so now pair that with a straight leg white pants or even just a flare like flare bottom white pants I think it will be amazing my favorite part though is this super long sleeves now the sleeves if I put my hand down like this you cannot see my hand from under this <laughs> which I really love but a lot of the time what end up happening is I'll fold it up you know just for different look and if I kind of just if I was feeling like I don't want to show my hands there I just wear it as is super long sleeve I just I find it fun so and I also love the colors this one here I think it cost me 69 so 70 dollars all right now moving along to mm6 Maison Mergella I have this plain cotton t-shirt right here and it's of course a little boxy and cropped and it's got the uh, bistro chair from mm6 office printed on it which i think it's really cute but it's just a simple casual day t-shirt next up i have this beautiful total neck with the mm6 logo just on the left hand side i think it's just beautiful one of the reasons i really like this is because the logo is not too much on your face and um, of course it's high neck super tight and i just want something that you can layer under things or wear under blazer or sometimes just wear it by itself as well i think it's a cool total neck Tea, super stretchy so you can't go wrong with that also now last but not least I have the uh, mesh <laughs> knit dress here I honestly I just loved this piece I had to go a size up because they were all sold and um, I just love it so much I was like I don't care I'm gonna take the size 42 I think I'm usually like a 36 38 so it's like two sizes up but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it, it has to be layered under something anyway and um, so I just you know it is a super stiff like I know but I just love it and it cost and it was only fifty dollars so I had to uh, I had to get it and I like unique things like this, if you don't know by now. Now, up next is self-portrait. Now, self-portrait, I think, makes the prettiest dresses I've seen in a while. And um, even though in the last couple of seasons, I feel like it's stepping a little bit, like it's stepping away a little bit from its signature and what I call your self-portrait kind of lace I still think they make beautiful things now 
this one here is the first dress that started my luxury designer collections mayhem. <laughs> Um, I just, I loved it so much, like, I, I can't even tell you. I love the color, I just love the little details, the buttons, now of course the buttons, you can button them up and have that close, or sometimes I just do it like this so I can wear it with the little cutout details on the dress. Of course it is midi length, it's got pockets, which I really love. And it's got zipper on the back, of course, just to make it easy. At that, um, I didn't want to get the typical self-portrait lace dresses. I feel like when self-portrait came out, that was the dress everybody had. It's just, it bl like, it blows my mind. I've seen few people wearing this one here, but in white. I was like, you know what, that's okay. But that one, oh my God. So many stores have made dupes of that dress as well. So it's like the it dress of like, was it 2016, 2017? It was just crazy. And I didn't want to be a part of that. So now next up, I have this beautiful pleated long dress here i just think it's very ethereal romantic very angelic depending on the person but here's the thing now when i first saw this dress i was like you know what it's very mother of the bright like i felt like this is something a mother of the bright will wear but now I am mistaken because it is such a beautiful dress and when you put it on, the way it flows when you walk, like the way the dress just moves, I think it's a beautiful dress. And to keep it modern, it's got a little cutout detail, of course, on the back here, so you can't really go wrong with that. The little tie details there, also on the back. Color is beautiful comes with slits on the side as well but it is just such a gorgeous dress and I'm so glad I actually bought one now my next designer that I want to talk to you about is Miss Vivian Westwood now Vivian Westwood I honestly love her designs as well and it is one of those brands that I have I have so many regrets because I love so many pieces but yet I ended up not buying them and it made me so sad I don't know if you guys remember this dress right here it's like beige sheer with the literally printed nipples on it and the V like right under here <laughs> I know it looks so inappropriate but I I still I just I love that dress and then um, there was like some controversy happening with that dress they had to like pull it off from the stores because people are just complaining you know but I honestly I was just like you know I don't get it like I don't get it it's art and I love me a good art I was like if it was like within my budget I'm definitely getting that dress because I just love it. I think it's so unique. And then there was also a few pieces that I really loved for like, I think it was 2018, 2017 I had a couple of pieces, 2018 I had also a few pieces that I really love and never got a chance to buy and I regret not buying those pieces until today. It still haunts me. And um, maybe one day I will find it somewhere and um, but until then I'm just gonna be sad about it every time I think about them it just makes me sad but I have one Vivian Westwood item and that is this bag right here from the Anglomania collection um, now the reason I wanted to buy this is because of course the color is so beautiful and I love the print and I love Vivian Westwood 
but one of the other reasons I wanted to buy it was because it is handmade by women in Kenya and I was like you know what I might as well support my African women you know and it's just so beautiful I haven't used it yet only because it's I feel like it doesn't have much structure to it but I'm gonna use it one of these days will probably be more for like just taking my tablet around or things like that so it's definitely going to be more of a work clutch rather than just a but I mean once in a while it can be a fashion piece right something like that <laughs> but no I just love the colors and I think it's beautiful and Vivian Westwood is just such an amazing designer I can't tell you enough Moving along to my last favorite brand, and that is Y Project. Now to kickstart that, of course, we're going to do it from the oldest to the newest. <laughs> now, um, this one here, of course, is my first Y Project piece that I bought, and I think it was 2018. Yeah, 2018. Now on the runway, they had this styled with a beautiful straight denim, you know, like the, uh, the layered denim by Y Project. They had it layered with that and then side tacked, which I really love. Now I know it looks a little weird, like just looking at it, but when you put it on, like you see the little detail right here, right there, <laughs> the stitching. It actually fits beautifully on the bust because of this little curve here. Just makes it fit really nicely and then the rest kind of just flows, which I really love. And it's cotton, super comfortable. But just on the days where you know you want to look good but you don't want to put too much effort into looking good, I think this is my to-go-to -to dress for those days. But I just, I love it. And it's green, you know. Next up, I have this Argyle print dress over here. Again, this one was from last fall, winter. Yeah. But I just love this piece right here. Super simple, basic, you know, just a nice wool dress <laughs> and it fits beautifully too so I can't really complain and then another item from last fall winter this two I know it's one of my two pieces from uh, last fall winter now I have this beautiful black pants here this one actually went down to like $70 or was it $80 I think 70 when I bought it which is I mean <laughs> I just you know I had to have it and it was in my size see when I say things are meant to be it went down to like the lowest price and it was still in the store and I've been loving it all season long and you know I was just like yes we gotta get this but this pants just fits beautifully a hundred percent wool well, 98% wool and it's got a little bit of elastine just to kind of give it that little stretch or breathe, you know. But it is a beautiful pair of pants. Now on the models, it was a little bit of a high waist. I don't know how they did that. Or maybe because I'm like a little bit too small for it. But on the model, it was high waisted. And then this detail here kind of just falls beautifully here. Now on me low waist which i don't mind i honestly love that it's low waist kind of just gives it that cool factor you know like you just don't care your pants fit but it's super low <laughs> but it's got all like the white project detail there of course which i really love and this one even though it's fall winter i wear a lot more during spring summer maybe sometimes fall but I definitely love this pair of pants right here. Now, 
off to our last piece. <laughs> it has to be the shoes, right? Now, this shoes here, I cannot tell you how much I love it. You probably remember it from last fall winter. So 2018, 2019 fall winter was when the craze was. Um, you've probably seen Khloe Kardashian wearing it in the red tartan. I kind of just thought the tartan red, like that tartan print was just so Christmassy. Then the green one came in, I was like, oh, I love you. Um, so original price was $1,400. My budget for it was $700. So then when it went on sale the first time. I was like, no, that's too much. And then the second time the price dropped was like $5.99. I was like, yes, $5.99. So I bought it for $5.99. I kid you not. Nine days, actually, yeah, nine days later, price dropped to $199. And I was like, so lucky I was able to like get a price adjustment and um, got the difference back but I just I love this shoes and um, she is so tall like look at this right and this is from the floor to like literally my boots that's shoes for you and boots um, so that brings us to the end of the video. Now, if you are wondering what brands I can suggest, honestly, I can't tell you which brands to like get or invest in because for me personally, I just buy things that I really love and um, pieces that I see myself wearing for a long period of time. And um, I don't buy them just because I've seen my favorite celebrity wearing it or because my favorite model was wearing it. And um, I think you shouldn't do that either. I believe that you've got your own sense of style and you gotta rock that. Um, so definitely look into those brands and see which one, which one kind of like relates to you, which ones you like and why you like them. If it's more you, then I would say, you know what, definitely, maybe that's the brand you should be buying more of. Like for me, Jacquemus and Y Project is definitely the two brands that I buy a lot of every single year. Those are like my two favorite brands. And, um, and you know, my style has changed so much. I went from dressing like a teacher in high school to like, Sometimes a little bit You know, I used to like my style used to be very classic ladylike But now that I'm a little bit older and a lot more professional too. That's what I found like before It's very professional very Ladylike like I've always loved of course my a-line dresses and but I was so much into suits like I would wear a beautiful pencil skirt with like a cardigan things like that which was a little bit more mature because you know I just you know I wanted to be different and um, you know as time goes by it kind of went into super sexy where everything is like a little bit shorter my neckline was a little bit lower of course showy backless I still do backless every now and then but it's just not my aesthetic anymore kind of it's not kind of like what I do a lot of anymore and um, now it's kind of just like dressing a little bit more edgier kind of just adding different elements into my style you know just things like that like this top right here I mean it's still classic I love the cut but of course you got the little details so my style has evolved a lot in the last let's say 15 years <laughs> I know it's a long time like it has definitely evolved even from being a little girl to like now I can see all the different sounds like oh my god I've changed so much 
but not to rumble too much <laughs> um, but definitely just check out the brands and see which ones speak to you and kind of just buy things that you love also budget smart um, don't just buy things regular price because you love them I believe you should never buy them at regular price wait until sale season or even end of season if you have to and then you can just buy what's still there because then it's meant to be um, but if you are worried about sizing and all of that kind of stuff just wait until like season like sale season to pick up this item so just so that you're not spending all of your money just to look cute you know can't be looking too cute and homeless nobody will help you just being honest but um no with that being said you have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next one bye for now